How many of you write Rust? Oh, yeah. For the rest of you, I'm sorry. You need to bear with me for the next five minutes. This is Cursed Rust. It's like, this is probably the first program you write in many languages. And it's wrong. You should not write code like this. It's slow. It's unidiomatic. What you want is, you want proper Rust, right? You want the cursed version. <laughs> you, you, you're the only one who will enjoy this talk. But yeah, how can we improve the performance of PrintLine? Well, I guess the first thing you can do, of course, is to de-sugar PrintLine, because PrintLine calls this under the hood, so you can lock standard out for yourself. And then you can write whatever you want, and you control standard out then. This is what PrintLine does, more or less. But I mean, functional people would probably disagree, and they would say, yeah, I, I kind of want more control over the characters. So one thing you could do is you take all the characters, and you iterate over them, and you print each character. And I guess even if, if you're more functional, then you would probably say, nah, why do I need the for each? I like closures. So this is a closure, and it immediately gets applied to hello, which means it prints every, it prints it. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but in reality, if you think about it, what if you make a typo inside hello world? Then suddenly, it prints something else. How can you avoid that? You kind of want to have a proper type for it. Well, let's introduce a type, and let's implement the display trait. And there we can define how we write to standard out. So we write the same string, hello world. But the cool thing now is, in the print line, we can literally call hello world on our type. This is enforced by the compiler. So if you make a mistake there, compiler will tell us. But really. Why do you call print line hello world? This is so pedestrian. Instead, what you want to do is you want to be a bit more object oriented. So what you can do is you can do this. You can say hello world dot print line. Because this works because you have the a trait system and you can define any trait and you can call it print line. And then you can have a method print line on it which prints itself. And so you turn it around. Instead of saying print line hello world, you can also say hello world print line. I guess all of this is nice, but think of the overhead, the code that we had to write only to print something. No, 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 we don't want to do that. Print line is entirely unnecessary because we can always panic if we want to print something. Of course, we cannot do anything else after that, but we can print hello world without print line. A lot of people that I know come from C, so they would like to use printf in Rust. Why not? Just use printf. Now, there's some unsafe code here. If you implement that, then at the end you can say printf, and yeah, awesome. And a lot of people say, well, uh, Rust is nice, but I like C++ better. I would like to have something like this, <laughs> an output stream. And if you do some tight shenanigans, you can totally do that in Rust. So you can have a C++ standard out. And this is how it looks like. You implement the shift left imp uh, operator, and you override it for your type. And you do the same for end line, which are just two structs we defined. And at the end, you can say, hello world. But really, the hardcore people, they would use assembly for it, I guess. And how would an assembly version look like in Rust? Well, this. So this is platform dependent. But it does the same thing. It loads our string and then prints it to send it out. And I guess, finally, you want fearless concurrency. So you want to have something that is completely thread safe, but also highly performant. So this version prints every character in a different thread. We just wait a certain time, and then we print a character by pr uh, locking standard out. Yeah, this was cursed rush. No one wanted to hear it, but thanks anyway.